You know, the fact that money answers all things is real phenomenal when the Holy Spirit start moving you in that direction because what he's, he's proving to you that now you're in the solution realm. When you get in the realm of solutions, that's the highest you could be. Because now you're not, you're not going to be a victim or a slave. He delivering you from it. Money answers all things. All things. Every single thing. Everything. There's a reason why Solomon had that revelation. Solomon was in the depths of God's wisdom to catch that powerful revelation. It wasn't revealed to Peter. It wasn't revealed to Moses. It wasn't revealed to David. It was revealed to Solomon that money answers all things. Now, the answering power of money is upon you right now. Did you hear what I said? You received that? The answering power of money is upon you right now. When, when, you, when you receive something in, in the spirit realm, that becomes the flow, the river that you swim out of. Remember, the Lord Jesus said, believe that you receive and you shall surely have it. Notice what he said. If you believe you receive, you shall surely have it. That goes for everything. Saints, when, when the Lord was healing my body, that's what I was doing. I said, I believed I received health in my body. I believed I received healing. And that was my early teenage years. I got healed officially at 17 years old. As you can see, 17 was the age where a lot of stuff started popping off because I became a man at 17. I make decisions, not excuses. The Holy Spirit will have you take authority of your own life through sowing. While you sowing, you telling your own being that it's going to live the God type of life. That's what you're doing. You telling your own body, soul, and spirit, you're going to live in the glory of God. You ain't got a choice. I'm not asking you if you want to do it. I'm not telling you do you feel like doing it. I'm not giving you no suggestion. I'm telling you. Sowing will saturate your being, your spirit, soul, and body. Once it is under that sowing glory, that sowing fire of God, something, it has to take place. I know it. I know the feeling when you're in the atmosphere of sowing angels. And boy, they'll boost you on. Sowing angels are sowing cheerleaders. Somebody write that down. By the way, I don't like no long paragraphs. <laughs> Everybody got ADD to some degree. Even God got a little form of ADD. The Bible said in Ecclesiastes, when you speak into God, let your words be few because he's in heaven. You're on earth. God saying, in other words, shut, shut the front door. Don't become, you talk too much. Huh? Say, say it, say it, say it, say it, all right, that's it, all right, don't, don't, I don't need to know about it, I don't need to know that your foot turned blue, and then it turned green, then you got gangrene in your ankles, and then you try to pray it out, and then there was a squirtation, ah, the number that you have not done has been disconnected, uh, we are relocating. When you try to play like the director on the phone, then you end up coughing. Give yourself away. Then, uh, the, 
the number that you have now dialed has been disconnected. <coughs> you try to cut, you try to cough the phone real quick. And like, how come? How come the director is coughing? He cough on the automated machine. Baby D trying to call you, Baby D. Ain't that funny how every hood got a a, a Jordan man? How many y'all? I remember them days when the Jordan man would come with them shoes. Them shoes look kind of fleeky, but if you look at it, Jordan was reaching for a sandwich. He his sandwich was on the top of the aisle. He was reaching for a sandwich inside. That was the obese Jordan. That was that was a starvation Jordan. Feed the children Jordan. Hey, why is Jordan digging for a big old ham and cheese sandwich? Like he Ricky Smiley and stuff. This, it's a net Friday after next spirit. Saints, I can't deal with them people. Saints, every time, Saints, isn't it crazy? You you be in America, but you talk to somebody that don't speak English on customer service now. The other day, I had a card, I, I talked to the person, and I said, eh? Eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Eh, ca excuse me? Uh, a piquito. Nah, ain't no piquito. You in America now. You gonna learn. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna say some things to you. I'm gonna disrespect you. I'm not gonna be nice. Uh, 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 two. I ain't say nothing about no two. I I don't know where you get two at. This ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. What? I need to speak to a manager. You know they transfer you to the manager. You know what the manager do? Eh. Yeah. Wait, this the same person? No, no. This, this, this Elrado, 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 y'all, but y'all talk the same, <laughs> y'all talk the same though, I ain't understand him, I asked him to transfer me to manager, okay, let me talk to the general manager, okay, okay, you answer it to the third person, I, A, eh, this the same person I just was talking to. The third person, they still, they still, they still. Saints, but I realized something. A lot of people over in America, they don't speak English. So how are they get into jobs? Because they're hungry. That's the secret to prosperity. You look, how did you get the job? Because they're so hungry. They even showed, I'll bypass my bad English to show you that I'll be dedicated to this assignment. And that's a secret to wealth. That's a secret to wealth. Because how... Did they not speak good English and have an English speaking customer service job? How? Because they dedicated themselves to the assignment and that outweighed the little things. When you dedicate yourself to the spirit of God, he don't mind opening doors of wealth for you. And even though you may seem inadequate, like you don't have the ability, like you don't have the esteem, you don't have the backing, he'll still open up that door for you and you'll walk in it and live in it and master it and money will come to you by any means necessary because the father is behind your dedication. Dedication unlocks wealth. Dedication unlocks a money flow. Dedication creates money streams on your behalf. Dedication is a conversation for more. Think about that. Dedication is a conversation for more. 
When you're dedicated, you're telling God, give me more. Z Zendaya, she got this thing or while you're talking to her. If, if you ask her, you want some more? She said, yeah. <laughs> Zend <laughs> Zendaya, she, she. Sometimes you feel Zendaya, I'm like, Zendaya, you, you trying to get fat on me. You try, you trying to get all, you trying to. Zendaya, one time she saw me doing sit-ups. So she came and laid down beside me. <laughs> and she just, uh, uh. I said, Zendaya, get up from here. She said, uh, uh. she wasn't actually doing sit-ups, but she was, she was trying to imitate. I said, Zendaya, get up from here. Trying to do sit-ups already. Now nah, you don't need to do no sit-ups. That baby keg is working for your good. That baby, that baby stomach. You ain't got to worry about. It. You ain't got to worry about your shape, your figure, and none of that. Just, 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 just let, just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy yourself. You know what she's doing? She's imitating my workout. See, the father is a sower. You have to learn how to imitate his workout of sowing. That's what sowing is all about. What, why sowing has so much weight in the spirit? Because you show the father that you working out his same workout. And that impresses him when he sees that you're willing to put the work in to get to the place that you desire to be in the government of God, in the gospel. Imagine the government has answering money all within it. Did you catch that? The government of God has answering money all within it. The government of God has answering money. Answering money cometh to you right now. Answering money. Money that talks back to your trial. Money that talks back to your smile. Because God loves a cheerful giver. Answering money. Answering money. Money that has the ability to prophesy back to you. What you've been prophesying to it. Imagine money telling you, I'm about to spend the rest of my life with you and I'm going to bring my brothers and sisters to come alongside of me and we're going to multiply in your life because you've been honoring God and that's what we was created to be used for honor. Even money knows its divine assignment. Money knows that its assignment is to be sown. Money, money know that it was created by God to be planted. Money is subject to relationships with fools until the wise get a revelation that they have power over money. Until the wise get a revelation. See, I feel the anointing going through my body right now as I'm talking. Because see this deep stuff. What I'm talking about you is, is so deep. I feel the power of God going through my body right now as I'm talking about this. Because this is what the Lord wants you to hear. He wants you to hear about this authority that you've been given through the blood, through the new covenant. To sow and reap. To live on top of the world. And see, we don't got to get, we don't got to go back to Eden. We going forward to Eden. Yeah. Because there's a new, there's a new Eden. There's a new Jerusalem. There's a new city. There's a new heaven. There's a new earth. There's a new system. There's a new covenant. We ain't got to go back to Eden. We going forward to Eden. Why, God? My God, our garden is not backwards, it's forwards. We got a forward moving garden and say, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Wealth and riches is a high calling in God. It's a high calling. That's why God instruct you more, the more you have. God talk to you more, the more he wants you to have. 
You, you caught that? God talked to you more the more he wants you to have. So when he wants you to have more, he starts talking to you more. Because more is a part of you. Do you know when you're in a dispensation of more? That, that, God, that God himself is not willing for you to stay at the same level. Do you know when you're in a dispensation of more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Letting the wealth garment clothe you day and night for investors. Somebody write that down. Letting the wealth garment clothe you day and night for investors. Letting the wealth garment clothe you day and night for investors. Because when that wealth garment is clothing you, what the Father will do is release upon you the spirit of grace to keep on abounding in money, keep on abounding in wisdom. Keep And, and watch this here. Patience is a magnet. For increase. Because patience shows God that you trust the instruction that he gave you and that you trust the reward that comes with it. Wow. Wow. Did you catch that? My God. So, so patience is an invisible conversation. That action, patience, shows God, I trust what you said. So I, I'm going to be excellent until it manifests because I trust what you said. Patient sowing, it impresses the Lord. Patient sowing touches the hem of Jesus' garment. Patient sowing, it gets God's attention to swiftly bring results to the matter at hand. Patient sowing. Because God know when your seed coming up to heaven that you want change. That's the thing about it. Your seed in itself has invisible signals. Your seed got signals that it that it releases to God. I just heard the Lord said the seed is sign language. Wow. Wow. I just heard the Lord said that the seed is financial sign language. Wow. Oh my God. The seed is financial sign language. That's what the Lord just said. The seed is financial sign language. So, so when, when you saw in the seed, you, 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 you sending God hand signals. My God. Ah. I just heard the Lord say that when you're sowing the seed, you're sending him hand signals, hand motions. Even your seed is showing God hand signals, telling him, I'm ready, Lord. You can send now prosperity. You can pour out a blessing I don't got room enough to receive. You, you can bring me into plenty. I'm ready, Lord. I'm not going to change because you give me a nice house, because you give me nice clothes. I'm still going to listen to you if you tell me to minister to somebody. Saints, I'll be, I be doubling back and forth telling people Jesus loved them. I'll be, I be, I be sniping people. I sneak up on them, boy. We be in a conversation. They fall in love with me, boy. They just want to talk to me. I'm talking about men's and women's. And lately, I've been meeting a lot of white people, boy. They, they, they want to talk to me. They, oh, my gosh. I just love your shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at his shoes, babe. Look at his shoes. Oh, my God. You, do you see the emblem? Do you see the emblem? See, they don't say, do you see the sign or do you see the, 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 the style? Do you see the emblem? My God. My God. My husband and wife was talking. Do you see the emblem right there? <laughs> Them shoes, though. And saying, saying then the teenager be looking at their dad like, please, dad, just that's not cool at all. 
that's not cool at all. The, the white dad was like, do you see them shoes though? And son was like, no dad, no, no. Shh. Bill Clinton voice, no. No. The woman was like, yeah, honey, I see him. I said the same thing myself. What did you mean by that, huh? No, I was just saying that I said the same thing. Oh. You know what to do. Them shoes, though. The, the son was right that time. No, Dad, no, no. Stop, stop, please. You're embarrassing me. That's what I love about white kids. They'll they tell you, you're embarrassing me. You know, I, I overheard white people talking. The woman, the woman, she told her son, you're going to prove your mission skills. I'm sending you on this mission trip. You're going to go with all the young people. We're Christians. That boy looked at his mama with a drop lip like this. She said, do you hear what I said? That meant that he about to murder her soon. That, that <laughs> I knew exactly what he was saying. It, just, it said, I heard y'all trick y'all. Y'all trick. Trick y'all. Let's see when I bash your face. Let's see what you're going to do when I bash your face. Let's see if you're going to talk to me like that when I pit, bust a cap in you. <laughs> Let's see if you're going to talk like that after I bust a cap inside of you. Wu-Tang Clang ain't nothing to mess with. Woo. I beat you in the face. I beat you in the face. I beat you. <laughs> uh, I heard. I heard his thoughts so far off. I, I heard all of them. Then I heard that theme song. You're another boss of me now. You're another boss of me now. You're another boss of me now. And I'm so glad. Sowing gives you access to every kind of meat. The meat of the word, the meat of provision, the meat of money, the meat of mindsets, the meat of mantles, the meat of ministry, the meat of miracles. The seed gives you access to every meat. Every meat that's possible, every meat that's visible, every meat that exists, you will taste of that meat when you're sowing. Sowing gives you access to every single meat that exists. There are meats in the Holy Ghost that's supposed to make you fat, make you fat financially, make you fat in your mind, make you fat in your wisdom, make you fat in your, your atmosphere with the glory of God, make you fat in your faith, make you fat in your focus, make you fat in your praise, fat in your thanksgiving, fat in your humility, fat in your endurance, fat in your strength, fat in your laughter. There is a fattening that God gives you through the seed. It gives you access to every kind of meat. And see, this meat ain't going to kill you. You see that revelation so strong. You hear what the Lord say? How there was a seed eating going on in the children of Israel. That's why when they got that meat, they died with it. Because they were disqualified reapers. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine the children of Israel, they were disqualified from the harvest. And the fact that the harvest flowed and they was disqualified from it, it had no choice but to kill them because then they were in the thief realm. And you know the thief come to steal and to kill. And the fact that they had sown killing as thieves, because when you're a thief, you kill God of true worship. Think about that. When you're a thief, you kill true worship. When you're a thief, you kill sowing. When you're a thief, you kill honor. Wow. 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 You see, I got this in the Holy Ghost just now. You, you see that? 
You see how praying in tongues just for those couple moments, you able to decipher how a thief is a killer, how a thief is killing God of his atmosphere, his honor, what he's expecting from you. So saints, sowing has a lot to do with training you how to give God everything that he wants in your personality, in your reactions, in your behaviors, in your gratitude, in your attitude. See, saints, sowing is to sculpture you into the person that you're really supposed to be in all avenues, mentally, physically, emotionally, is to sculpture you, to bring you into the unity of love, the unity of God himself. That's what the seed does. The seed brings a unification between you and the personality of the spirit of God that's destined for you. Because see, the spirit of God not going to be who he is in you the same way that he be who he is through someone else. He going to be who he is to you because because you as a woman, you're going to have the Holy Spirit personality distinguished as a woman. He going to show you how to be a woman through his impartation. He's not going to show you how to be a man. You're not going to be walking around talking, so, hey, hey, how you doing? The, the two places that you want to see black people try to run over you is, is when they a lifeguard and they're a security guard. <laughs> when they direct in traffic. This nigga, this nigga right there, this nigga right here just trying to tell me to turn left. This is not a left turn. Don't you see the sign? Oh, I, I'm sorry, man. Still, though, don't, don't be disrespectful. No, I'm not being disrespectful. This is not a left turn, all right? You need to look at the signs, Big Shirley. I'm going to tell you this one more time. You to do it again. I'm going to throw that piece of chicken at the side of your nose. Two major places where you find black people being insubordinate when they are lifeguard <laughs> and they work in security jobs. Saints, if you want to be irritated, meet a black security. You walk in there, you chewing gum. Uh, uh, Ma'am, there's no gum chewing in here. All right. I, I'll toss it out. Ma'am, you're not supposed to put the gum inside of the trash can inside of the building. Oh. So the trash can not used for trash. All right. Okay. I'll pick it back up at it. Ma'am, after you enter the building, you cannot leave the building until you accomplish what you came in the building for or else it is considered trespassing. Oh. So I can't put the gum inside of the trash that's inside of the building. Only the trash that's outside the building. And now I'm trying to pick the trash outside of the building. You told me I can't leave. Ma'am. It's against the law of security for you to talk back after I've given you instruction. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk back. Therefore, there's two minutes you're going to have to wait before I release you to go through the scanner and you can go on about your business. And saints, you ever seen a security guard when they do wickedness to you? How they just want to proceed on their phone scrolling like ain't nothing happened? They just did wickedness to you. This is all them on their phone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's so crazy. He's so crazy. It, what, we got one more minute. <laughs> oh, he's so crazy. Boy, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop, boy. You need to stop. Is is you still got 30 more seconds. Don't cross the line. Wait till you finish. Wait till it's finished. And then saints. 
The security never wants you to feel like you unbothered. You know what a security do? If they feel like you feel <laughs> like you unbothered, they going to make sure you get bothered. When, they, when you pass the line, you see, you've been in prayer. You've been calmed down. You ain't arguing or nothing. They're going to they right tell you, all right, you're free to go. But, hey, Eldred, make sure you watch her. Because I don't know what's gone into her today. She won't she won't act all like she, like she all that, like she not mad. But watch her and keep an eye on her and escort her to where she need to go. Now they tying other people in the building against you. You want to see two areas where black people be insubordinate? When they the lifeguard and when they the security guard. When the security guard, when they when 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 they're security guard, they're gonna make up rules that don't even exist. And and and, and they're gonna keep on trying to get in your skin. They're going to keep on trying to do it. Saints, then we got the lifeguard. You know, the lifeguard, you know what they do? They hold you up in traffic unnecessarily. Because they got to prove their point that they the lifeguard. Or, or they the street guard or whatever we call it. They got to prove to you. So they're not going, they, 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 even though traffic moving, they're going to stop you. And start directing the person on the bicycle to cross over when good and well that person on the bicycle is supposed to stay on the sidewalk. Then they, they, they don't want you to move immediately. They still got the little tag out. You got to wait. You don't see no car coming. You wonder what they have and you wait for. And saints... I'm going to tell you like this. You'll never meet a lifeguard or a director of traffic. I promise you that they ain't never got no grease in their head. I promise you that. I promise you that. If I, I, They got dry scalp. Their, their hands ashy. I promise you that. You, you know why? Because when you're dry inwardly, you're going to be dry outwardly. <laughs> <laughs> the lip be ashy. The woman, the woman, she her shave cream, all that, all that beard, the beard, the beard. She got beard marks all right there. What she done say? <laughs> she all in the street looking like Santa Claus sister. <laughs> she got Santa Claus sister syndrome. Breaking out. That's worse than a corona. That's worse than a coronavirus. <laughs> That's worse than a coronavirus. She got she got Sanford and Son beard trim just working in her favor. Saints, it, it, it's funny to me. Everybody, everybody, they question whether they should smoke that weed now because coronavirus a little spread. There's a little spread in America. They're a little nervous now. Since these viruses, it, it, it creates a crackdown on people that be running wild. They get nervous. They get real nervous because they don't know if they're going to die. Because <laughs> they don't show that video with people in China. They, <gasps> they just fell out. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Now, I saw some states that was mainly affected by coronavirus, and, and one of them was China, it was Iran, it was Italy, and I heard the Lord tell me, because I wonder, why would Italy be in there? And the Lord said, the sin of the merchants. The sin of the merchants. The sin of the merchants. I said, why, why would Italy? Cause I know Iran bought itself. I know, I know, you know, China. I know that, 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 that. 
said the sin of the merchants. He said it, they all are part of the Babylonian system. Look at some of your, your clothes. They say made in Italy. Or what else? It say made in China. Merchants. You see that? Some of your clothes, you go look at your clothes. It say made in Italy. Made in China. The merchant. Sin always invites plagues, diseases. It invites it. You're a child of God. You ain't got to worry about that stuff. You just follow the Holy Ghost. And that's why you don't be everywhere that everybody be. It's a call for discretion. When people invite you every place you find out, that's the will of God. Because... I want to say this. Sowing protects you from viruses. I want to say this. Sowing protects you from flus, diseases, and unexpected plagues. Watch this here. Remember what is Moses saying? Let, let my people go so that they can worship God. They want it to be set free so that they can sow. That's what Moses, the whole message was about, so that they can worship. Notice when Pharaoh don't let them go free, all these plagues hit. Frogs. You see that? Swarms or locusts or whatever. You see all these things that's happening? Vi uh, 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 uh. We see the West Nile virus right there. <laughs> but we see all these plagues just happening, right? Because of the blocking of seed, the blocking of worship, the blocking of sowing, now these plagues come. You see that? So sowing seed will, will protect you from the arrow that flies by day and the terror by night. There's a Psalm 91 covenant in bountiful sowing. When I'm investing much into the kingdom of God, there is a, a Psalm 91 covenant. I, I want some of you all to keep this. There's a Psalm 91 covenant in bountiful sowing. And so everything that's in Psalm 91, I own that. With long life where he satisfy me and show me his salvation, I own that. A thousand will fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand. It will not come near me. I own that. I will call upon him. He will hear me. I will tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. I own that. I'm trampling over the serpent because I'm a sower. The seed shall crush the head of the serpent. So why would Psalm 91 talk about I, I tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent? How am I walking over the serpent? I'm stepping on the serpent because I'm sowing. When I am a bountiful sower, there will be moments where I will be targeted with bountiful attacks. And that is my opportunity to prove that I'm ready for bountiful money. Satan aims at every sower's mind because that's the very area that you mastered to even sow. Oh, my God. I promise you, uh, these fine seed teachings, these some, these some best seed teachings that I'm giving you here. This fresh. I ain't get this from nobody. I ain't get this from nobody. I got this from the Lord Jesus himself. Satan aims at the heart of the sower because that's where you purposed in your heart to give in the first place. So he, he targets the area out of revenge. 
That's why when you sowing, just guard yourself. Just listen to your man of God voice. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. If you step out of that, then it's issues. It's issues. Just stick with your man of God's voice. It's, it's, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. He going to target the area where the seed was launched. Where the seed was meditated. Where the seed was imagined. That's why Bible talk about if, if you look at the wind, you will not sow. Those are satanic agents. Remember, Jesus talked about the Holy Ghost as if it was uh, the moving of the Holy Ghost like you don't know where the wind is blowing. He, he gave reference to the Holy Ghost in that aspect. It's the same way where you don't know where the wind blowing. Because satanic wind is satanic spirits. The same way the wind of the spirit represent the spirit, the direction the spirit is going. The same way the satanic winds represent the, the, the direction that satanic agents are going. And satanic agents, they block seeds. They block seeds because their intent is to block harvests. The job of a satanic agent is to blind you from harvests. Because if you don't got the joy that's set before you, you can't endure the cross. There are sowing crosses that will give you money crowns. So you have to endure that sowing cross to receive that money crown. Wow. That's why the words say in Proverbs that he'll crown the head of the wise with riches. He'll crown their head with riches. That person overcame and endured the sowing cross to now have a money crown of riches.